So this is uh, where a number of sections could be created at an interval, either coarse or fine, under the assumption of uniformity of surface between two adjacent sections. And we could multiply all these areas, and we could then come up with a volume for the site for a rough crude order of magnitude quantity. However, it may be desirable to take a look at this from a surface-to-surface -surface basis. So rather than cut and fill, I will do, or sorry, cross-section, I'll do a cut and fill report. And here for cut and fill, what I'm interested in looking at is base surface existing ground to subgrade layer one. And this tells me overall for the two surfaces how much cut or fill I have. Now, the fill here is because of the coarseness of the sampling for the boreholes that some here, I believe, somewhere over here along this edge, we have the subgrade surface coming above existing ground, which is not desirable. It could certainly be addressed by having some more boreholes. But if I do select the area that I'd like to report in to be only inside of the 2D property line, we see here now my data is good inside the property line that I have no fill because all of my subgrade surfacing is beneath my existing ground. So I could either do a summary, which it would export this in a simple XML file, or I could place the report in the drawing, which gets dynamically uh, checked and updated, or can be updated, uh, to changes in surfaces. And so just to remind myself here, which is the actual volume that I'm more interested in, I'm just going to put a little marker down here that this is the cut volume that we're going to have within the property line to strip down to the organic matter, or strip the organic matter off down to the um, more structural layer to start working from.